Hey, what's going on with everybody? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope everybody having a good work week thus far. Hope everybody's getting after it. Man, so you know what? It's a beautiful day out. I know it usually go by Taco Tuesday, but it is time to grind harder on Tuesday. Right behind you, we have a stand right there. Guys, I didn't even tell you what we plan on doing with this stand, but guess what? That's 75 gallon, that's in our living room. I want to do some modifying to that stand. I want to paint it because it's looking a little old, a little beat up, a little ding, a little tattered. So I'm going to take the doors off. I'm going to paint it white and black. Well, the black is already there. I'm just going to paint the trim white. Easy, right? So I'm going to show you the little process. We got to sand it, then we're going to paint it. So just in case one of you guys want to try it for yourself, you can see how to do it. Make sure you sand it first just so the paint can stick better to the wood. You give it a rough surface so it's not like a slippery surface so it can stick better. So um, it should be an easy video. Let's get to it. It's a stand right here, 75 gallon stand. Oh yeah, check out the patch over here. Man, it looks ugly. We'll find out tomorrow whether or not it holds water though. Let me show you something. This right here is the tool I was looking for. You use this side to scrape out caulking and then use this side right here to smooth the caulking and make it look real nice and professional. Damn it, I couldn't find it yesterday. So first things first, I'll remove the doors and then we'll go ahead and uh, then we'll start sanding. All right, so all four screws, like I said, it's gonna be easy. All right, there's the other door. So there's a couple ways you could go about sanding this. Um, if you have an electric sander, which I do, but it's brand new and I don't have the sandpaper, or I, I actually do, I actually do have some sandpaper, but I don't know where it's at. So with that being said, I'm not going to be able to use this one right here, this is just a little craftsman. A little craftsman, little hand sander. It's good. It's a good one. You know, I would I would love to use that instead of using the hand sander that I'm about to have to use. Where is my hand sander? We're not trying to take this down. Now, if I was trying to take off all this black paint to take it down to the bare wood, I would use an electric sander 100%. There's no way that I would sit there and do this. But all I'm trying to do is just rough it up a bit because it's so smooth, so slick. So I just want to rough it up a little bit so when I paint it, the paint will attach to the wood better. So. Ooh, this is not working at all. Electric sander, here I come. So I found some sandpaper. And I'm using this sander right here because that hand sander, it didn't do anything. It just scuffed it a little bit. It wasn't abrasive enough. It wasn't strong enough. It was, if it was more coarse, I probably could have did more than that. But uh, let's see what this do right here. So when you're doing this, make sure you're wearing your face mask. I was only leaving it off just so I could do some talking and show you, but now, now I'm about to really get after it. Just like that. Now, did you just see how fast that was? Did you just see how fast that was? I still would have been on the front if I was using that hand sander. So I think that craftsman might have been like, I can't even tell you, I'll, I'll be lying to you. I don't know, I don't remember. But it probably wasn't more than 30 bucks. Probably like 20, 15, something like that. So it's a good investment. That just cut that time in half. In like a, a 
fifth of the time, I mean a tenth of the time, matter of fact. So I need to do the bottom one, and then I'm gonna hit these doors. Let me just do the bottom real quick. Let's get to these doors. What you wanna do, is you wanna mix it, regardless. This paint been sitting a long time, so just mix it around. So I'll start with this one right here. So the first coat, you're really not trying to get, I should have used the roller. The roller would have been faster, but you know what? At least I could talk to you guys longer since I'm using this paintbrush. But, um, you know, you're just trying to get that first layer on there. You know, just get everything. Don't worry about trying to go super thick on the first one. You know, just get it all on there. Once it dry, you get on there, that second coat is going to blend in very well. Don't worry. Now you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Let me show you my painting. So, just like that. It's going real light, as you can see. I'm not trying to go real heavy on there. I don't want to pile it on there. I want it to dry quick. And the best way of getting it to dry quick is putting a nice light coat. Just like that. When you have a brand new brush, it's easy to cut in and um, Get your edges real well. That's called cutting in like that. So if you have like an accent wall or you want an accent wall, you gotta practice your cutting in because that's what you gotta do. So you can just practice your cutting in like that when you do these doors, when you do any kind of project really. Just take advantage of what you're learning and what you're doing so you could apply it on any project. Just like that. So, here we go. Just like that. So this is the first coat. I'm thinking probably two, two coats. So that's that first door. Let me go ahead and do this next door. And then we're gonna show you how we're gonna do this. Now let's go ahead and start painting this facade. All right, so that's the first coat right here. I slapped a little heavier coat, second coat right there on the top part. You can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like, but much more solid, not really streaky like that. You see how you can see the black coming through? That's because it's only one coat. Oh, messed up a little bit down there. You know what? I don't even care. This is the back. So I got a little messy back there. Right there. And I don't care. Like I said, that's the back of the tank, back of the stand. So these doors seem to be dry already, which means that I could go ahead and add the second coat. By the time I'm done with these doors, I'm pretty sure I can start adding the second coat around the rest. It's hot here, real hot. So let me get to it. I don't wanna bore you guys with this process. So let me go ahead and finish. You can't even see me. So I don't wanna bore you guys with the process of me putting on the second coat, or if it takes three coats. I probably be done in about like 30 minutes, maybe an hour tops. So let me go ahead and finish this up. I'll show you that final reveal. And then uh, we'll talk more about what we're gonna do with this. All right now, I got some painting to do. So that about wraps it up. This stand is done. So I've put on like five to six coats. Um, after the second and third one, it's nothing just to get, uh, get more coats on there just to make sure that the black doesn't bleed through. 
So it needs to dry now, just letting it sit right here. Um, the doors are sitting right there. But um, so once it's done drying, you know what we gotta do, right? Put the tank back on there, get it in the house. Well, get it in the house, put the tank back on there, set it up, put some water, get some fish in there. Are you guys gonna be subscribed for that? I hope so. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. So um, next video, next video, we're going to get this tank back inside and we're gonna set it up. Are we gonna get fish? I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but the only way you'll know for certain is if you hit that subscribe button. So make sure you bop, 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 hit that subscribe button, all right? Um, guess that's it, guess that's it guys. So. As you know, I still got a ton of things to do, as always, but I don't want to take you along for every single ride. Some of these rides are boring. Things I got to do, things you don't have to deal with. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. If you have any comments, please drop them down in the, down in the comment section. I'll try to get to them. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow me on Facebook, The Fish Corner. Follow me on TikTok, The Fish Corner. <laughs> like I'm over here throwing Frisbees. Yeah, yeah. Or throwing knives, throwing daggers. Uh, uh. Anyway, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.